All right, guys, so we are going to be talking about dividing polynomials. I know it looks hard, and you're like, well, Miss Samji, what? Just remember that dividing polynomials, all it is is that you're using your factors, which you know how to factor things, all right? So if you're just dividing by one term or by, like, one monomial, then it's just like factoring out its GCF, except I'm telling you what the GCF is typically. So check this out. I told you we were dividing it by 4x. Right? So I'm saying that pull that out as if it's the GCF. So I'm going to rewrite it as this polynomial, this binomial is 4x times, well, in order for me to get 16x squared, I'm going to have to multiply it by 4x again. And 4x times 7 is going to get me 28x. So in this blank, I get 4x plus 7. What ends up happening is the 4x's right here, your GCF, essentially, ones out and you're left with the answer 4x plus 7. And that's dividing polynomials. All right, and you're like, well, Miss Amji, we don't always just have monomials. We also have these. We've got binomials. Now, if you're dividing it by one term, Factor it out like a GCF, or you can just reverse box it. Now, I know we haven't really done the reverse box as much, but this is really helpful when you're working on it. And you have to remember how you set up your box method. So look, we've got a trinomial, and we know it's going to be a binomial times a binomial. All right, I'm going to split it up into those four. So that I have a 2 by 2. I've been given the h plus 6. So I'm just going to put it up here. H, or sorry, to the side, h plus 6. I'm trying to figure out what this spot is going to be. Your first and your last term go in your first box, and your last term goes in your last box. Now you can actually easily pull out the common factors or the GCF, so to speak. And you don't even have to use the OI terms because you don't know what added up to be the 9H. You don't need it. So H times something is going to get you this H squared. Well, it's going to be times an H. Okay? 6 times something is going to give you this 18. Well, that's going to be a 3. So that term right here is H plus 3. And again, this one's out, so your answer would be H plus 3. That's how easy it is with the reverse box method. And you're like, what? Why? Why haven't you shown us this? Now, with reverse box method, notice it's so much easier if I have been given one term or one of the factors in order for this to work. All right. And if you were double-checking your answer because you were like, Miss Samji, I don't think this works. Well, think about it. H times 6 gets you plus 6H. H times 3 gets you 3H. 6 plus 3H gets you that 9H. That is your OI term. That's how easy that was. And it doesn't matter if your A is 1 or if your A is more than 1. So we're going to do the same setup, and if you want to write it out this way, so that way it helps you visualize what we're working with, that is totally fine. Just know we're going to have another binomial there, and we know it's going to be a binomial because that exponent on my leading term is a 2. So I know, I'm sorry, yeah. That exponent is a 2. The degree of this polynomial is a 2. So I know I'm going to need one more. I'm going to draw my box. I have been given this x plus 5. And we're going to put our first term in our last term. My first term and my last term in my first box and in my last box. 
Notice that if it's got a sign in front of it, if it's a positive or a negative, I am including that in there because it helps me write out what my factors are. Okay, so I've got to figure out what I multiplied x by to get 2x squared. Well, that's just going to be 2x. Pretty much you're doing mini division problems here. 5 times 15, a positive 3, 5 times a positive 3 will get you that positive 15, which means in this blank you get 2x plus 3. This one's out. Your answer is actually 2x plus 3. That's how easy dividing polynomials is. If you're like, I really want to see this on a reverse box, just on a normal problem that we would be doing, well, let's do this problem right here. And you do not have to put this down in your notes if you don't want to, but you can. Um, this is an alternative if you're to swing and divide or my fat dog really moves. So say I've got 4x squared plus 4x minus 3. You are still going to be doing your factors like normal. So let me set up my box. Okay, first term, last term. Okay, now I have to figure out what I'm going to be working with. That's where the part comes in. And it's not too different than what we do with my fat dog really moves, and we have to set up our x value. Remember, your top is your a times your c, which means it's going to be 4 times negative 3, which is a negative 12, and your bottom number being a 4. Okay, so we are going to figure out which number would work for this, and we get a 2 and a negative 6. So we get plus 2x and minus 6x. And now you can pull out GCFs. So the, your GCF of this one would be a 2x. Your GCF of this one would also be a 2x. Your GCF of this one would be a negative 3. And your GCF of this, well, they don't really have a GCF, so we're just going to put a positive 1. And guess what? If we actually box this out, or foil it out, whichever you prefer, you are going to end up getting this answer as well, okay? That's how we double check that these factors right here are in fact the, an the solution or the original problem given to find this polynomial. So let me check it real quick. First, outer, inner, And last, and you guys will see that I accidentally switched up my sign. So it should have been a positive 6 and a negative 2 here. So switch those up a little bit. And that does mean that I'm going to switch these signs. Positive 3 and a minus 1. I'm so sorry, guys, about that. And there we go. And now, because Miss Samji can actually do the math that she should be doing, you figure out that you still get your actual answer of 4x squared plus 4x minus 3, which was the original problem that we had. So this is if they don't give you a term, if you want to use this to factor instead, this is the reverse box method.